What's up everyone, this is the Great Heisman here, and I welcome you all back to another episode of Heisman Plays Grand Theft Auto 5, where this time we're playing as Trevor, and we're just basically gonna be paying our good friend Cletus a visit here, because it's been a while since we visited Cletus, so we'll see what he's got for us. Well, I see he has a gun in his hand. Ooh, so we're gonna be hunting animals. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. What's that? Gum? Still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them, and they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using the down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Okay, sir, hunting for elk. Oh, I see the elk right there. Oh, there it is. I saw its head. But we're gonna have to be careful. In the head. Trevor, you're well, we did it. Mother in law's kiss. All right, stick with me. I'll lead us further in. Keep quiet and stay close. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. But we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle to you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like... Someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. You got him. Pull the trigger. In the neck, not too bad at all. Okay, follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. him in the shade. Grades everywhere. You're a cold man, Trevor Phillips. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while.
Oh, I see one more elk. There it is. Oh, what the heck? Okay, now we're just going to photograph the dead body of the elk. Okay, Snapmatic. There. What? I thought I already sent the photo. Oh. I'll send the picture to Cletus. Okay, alright, so he's gonna give me a call. I'm guessing. Got the photo, another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you.